Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You may be dealing with some frustrations this week, okay? Um, I do believe that you're going to be. You may end up swearing at somebody um, just because I seem to think you will. So what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? Blossoming abundance. Now that's a good one, huh? It's a three. It means your prayers have been heard in some way. So they hear your prayers when you get a three. Um, anyhow, there's some sort of abundance that is coming in. It looks like it's pretty darn beautiful to me. Um, it's a time of growth by the looks of things. Things are going to be blossoming for you. I did see frustrations, but here it looks pretty darn beautiful. This is having it all. It's, it's so beautiful. It's serene. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, this is a place of serenity and peace. So you may be in a good place. Let's hope that's the case. Um, let's hope that's the case. What do we have for cancer? The week ahead. There's abundance that is coming. Right now it may be, you know, just blossoming and abundance is coming. You could be still frustrated this week, but things are growing. It is definite things are growing right now, okay? <clears throat> I don't know if somebody's having a hard time communicating. Because I was doing fine, all of a sudden my throat seems to be closed up. So that would be your throat chakra. So I'm not sure if there's communication issues here. Somebody's having a hard time speaking their truth. Tree, affairs with your family. You could be dealing with affairs with your family this week. Heart, love, deep affection and caring. Flowers, happiness. Well, this is really good. This is really good, but if there is some sort of affairs with your family. You could be uh, having a good time with your family. Maybe things are starting to get better with your family. Um, whatever is happening, you're definitely going through a period of growth. Happiness is here. It's coming. If it's not here yet, it's definitely coming. If you are single and, you wa and you're watching this, things are starting to sprout, okay? Things are starting to blossom. It's a, very, it's a time of growth and you're looking beautiful. So if you're single you are, or even attached, this is beauty, okay? It's definitely you know, a time where you are probably, you may be glowing. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like to me. You are going to be dealing with some affairs with your family this week, though. What do we have for cancer? Nine of Cups reversed. Now, Nine of Cups reversed is a lack of wish fulfillment. Extreme. Somebody may be going to extremes when you get the Nine of Cups reversed. This is unable to give or receive love. A lack of inner happiness. Low self-esteem. Lack of confidence. You know, you may have you may have wished that you never got involved with something, okay? Um, that I mean, I have to be honest. The Nine of Cups reverse can be shattered dreams. You could be dealing with a letdown. Could have something to do with your family. That that could be a bubble burst of some sort. This could be sex without love. Um, we could have somebody that has you know anorexia or bulimia or something like that. Something. Um, isn't growing, but there is going to be some growth. And I say there isn't growing because you've got the page of wands on the rock bottom in the reverse. That is a lack of direction, a lack of growth. Something is happening this week, which may not make you happy, but happiness is around the corner. Okay, happiness is right around the corner. Um, eight of Cups reversed. Oh my goodness. So this is emotional disappointment, okay? This somebody has been staying put. They've been staying in a situation that doesn't make them happy. I knew there were some frustrations here. You know, that is staying put. That is emotionally uh, dysfunctional. It's like this is emotionally disappointing and dysfunctional, but I'm staying here. I'm staying put because I, 
don't dare to leave or I don't want to leave. You know, I want to leave, but I don't want to leave. This is avoiding, refusing to move on, pretending to be happy. Somebody is in a situation where they may have hoped and prayed that it was wish fulfillment and it's not wish fulfillment, but they can't leave the situation. Maybe there's abundance there. And when there's abundance, abundance comes in many forms. It could be money there, you know, or assets or something like that. But this is staying in a situation that is no longer wish fulfillment. It's not fulfilling your dreams, right? It's not. You may be hoping and wishing for peace, hoping and wishing for serenity. You know, you may be hoping and wish, wishing for, you know, abundance, but it's not, it's not happening. But it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Um, oh. Now, this is a reality check. It's seeing the truth. It's seeing things clearly. It's the moon reversed. And the moon card does represent you. A lot of people forget to mention it. They say it just represents Pisces. Yes, it can represent Pisces, but it also represents Cancer. Okay, so this card right here, the, the, all is definitely not as it seems. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Somebody has been very, very fearful. They haven't had any trust. There's uh, not listening to intuition. We have... Uh, self-deception here so there's some sort of self-deception here somebody's deceiving themselves because they are in a situation that is probably abundant you know as far as money goes or something like that but it's not emotionally fulfilling so they're hiding behind that shadow to the outside world it may look like it's happy but it ain't it's not so all is not as it seems. There's a lot of fear here. There's a need to release fear and face the truth. Um, seven of Cups reversed. Unbelievable. So this is seeing very clearly. And this is clarity as well. Becoming clear of a choice. So you're going to become clear. If you've been confused, if you've been staying put in this situation, hoping and praying that something was gonna is gonna change you know with your family i don't know if it or somebody that you live with uh, there is gonna be a change but it may, it may not be what you think that it is okay it may not be all is not as it seems so i don't think it's gonna be what you think it is you may receive some clarity you may receive some clarity you've been confused maybe you've been living in illusion maybe there maybe there's been some sort of fantasy here or there has been with the seven of cups and the moon card somebody's been in fantasy land you know anyhow this is coming out of fantasy it's seeing very very clearly the truth that you need to leave a situation so i do believe that you're going to receive some sort of clarity this week truths could could uh, you know if something has been hidden it could be revealed this week four of cups a lot of emotions, and I've been shuffling and flipping the whole time, so this, this is going to be a very emotional week for you. <laughs> it is. It is. You're going to be in your feelings. You may be crying a lot. I'm just being honest. We got all these cups. This is emotions. Um, or you may be crying on the inside. Maybe you're not really letting them out, but there's definitely a lot of emotions on the table here. Um, four of cups. This is missing an opportunity. I'm not interested. I don't want it. Somebody's not interested. They're not interested in this love. They're not interested in... And being in love or being in this commitment or what or being in this foundation they're really not it's like I just I'm not interested and I feel like there's some sort of discontentment it feels like you have an opportunity for love that just isn't you know maybe it's being missed maybe it's being ignored maybe you're ignoring another opportunity for love because you're in a situation that you know appears to be abundant to the outside world you know, anyhow, I feel like you need to be honest with yourself with that moon card reverse. You need to see it for what it is. And I think you're going to receive some clarity. I do think you're going to receive some sort of clarity. You deserve love. I feel like there's an opportunity for love here that has been ignored because you're in a situation that you are reluctant to walk away from because of some sort of abundance that you are receiving from that relationship. Um, so anyhow, Cancer. hermit reversed so the hermit reversed is a midlife crisis some of you may be experiencing a midlife crisis you may have fear of being alone you know there could be some codependency issues here you don't want to be alone i'm going to stay in this even though there's no wish fulfillment even though there's no love you know i don't even see any passion here at all none i don't see any passion in this 
situation. Anyhow, you know, I feel like it's time for you to come out of hiding. Something is going to be revealed. Something has been hidden in it or it's been ignored. You know, somebody may have been ignoring their gut, you know, and that's what it is. Ignoring their gut or ignoring their feelings or ignoring their needs or whatever. But I do feel like this week there's going to be some sort of enlightenment. You're going to become enlightened. You may get an epiphany or you may receive some sort of truth that, you know, uh, moves you in a new direction. Um, and here's the frustrations, okay? I do believe you're in a situation where there's no growth. Okay, we got the Empress reverse. You could be dealing with a wife or a mother or a woman here that is very, very... Uh, jealous, forceful, sleeps around. This person may not be uh, very nice, isn't very loving, isn't very nurturing, doesn't doesn't uh, give their all. This is you could be for some of you. Uh, this is somebody that uh, is mean spirited. You're dealing with a mean spirited individual that doesn't doesn't really probably you know if this is if this is you. Because this could be a woman. If this is you and you are watching it, you may not know your value. You may not know your worth. You may be staying in a situation because you don't want to be alone. Okay? If you are a man watching this, you could be dealing with a woman that doesn't really take very good care of you. She doesn't love you. You know, she's sleeping around or something like that. Um, or she's just not very healthy. This could be an unhealthy individual. Um, there's definitely a lack of growth here for some of you. Uh, the temperance reverse can be a loss of a child. So there could be grieving over a loss of a child. Um, anyhow, empress reversed is some sort of neglect, being neglected, not being loved and cared for. So I feel like you need to make a choice and you need, you need to make a choice to be honest with yourself because everybody deserves to, to be loved. So anyway, I think you're going to receive some sort of information, some sort of truth about a person that you are dealing with that is not very loving, okay? This person is uncaring. They, you know, there could be a termination here. This person is uh, selfish, you know, um, a mess. I think you're dealing with an individual that is, is probably very... Uh, not very abundant, you know, they just don't give you what you need and I feel like you need to take care of yourself. You need to make a choice to take care of yourself. Whoever you're dealing with is self-absorbed, you know, all they care about is themselves. So anyway, I feel like this week you may be choosing to go down another path. You probably have another opportunity that you have been ignoring. I feel like this week you're, you're going to really want that peace. You're going to be seeking peace. You're going to be seeking abundance. You're going to be seeking serenity. And you're thinking about leaving this whole situation behind you before love, okay? You need love. Everybody needs love and happiness in their life. So anyway, I feel like this is going to be a week where you go through a major awakening, okay? And you may start to socialize with somebody new that you have ignored, okay? Or because you were in this situation that you couldn't walk away from. Anyway, there's going to be somebody that is coming out of hiding. They've been hiding their feelings. They haven't been listening to their gut. Now they're going to see clearly which path they want to go down. They're probably wishing that they would have went down that path a long time ago. You know? Um, anyhow. This is becoming consciously aware. After a period of isolation, there also could have been some consequences for staying. Somebody may have lost something. They may have lost something of value by holding on to this uh, unfulfilling situation for so long. You know, so somebody may be uh, feeling that. Three of coins reversed. Now that's lack of foresight, wasted time. Yeah, somebody has wasted time. They have wasted time not seeing. Now the three of coins, lack of teamwork. I was looking, I was thinking three of wands. Everything comes out for a reason. Three of pentacles reversed. Lack of teamwork, lack of collaboration, lack of communication, lack of respect for others. So we have somebody here that has been unwilling to give you respect they've been unwilling to communicate they've been unwilling to work with you you know or even compromise at all and i feel like you need to wake up and i feel like this is a wake-up call i think that something is going to happen that is really going to snap it feels like it's a snap and i feel like uh 
you know, there's an op look at this. Now we got two cups here upright, two of cups. There's an opportunity for love that has been ignored. I feel like it's time for you to stop hiding and, and living a lonely life, you know. You need to get out there. You need to socialize. You need to communicate. You need to stop choosing to stay and wait for something to grow when there's growth in another direction. So anyway, you have an opportunity for love here. You do. You absolutely do. Magician reverse. Now the magician reverse is a no answer. It's like a no. It's a it's a powerless. You're feeling powerless. You may be feeling like you're not qualified or you know, you could be also dealing with somebody that is very sneaky, very tricky, very manipulative that has manipulated you into thinking that they want to work with you. <laughs> you need you need to really open your eyes. You really need to open your eyes. You're dealing with a trickster here. You could be even deceiving yourself. That could be self-deception. Somebody could also be taking action without thinking. You know, they may be, they could do something impulsive because they're grieving over a loss. So that's another message for somebody. We have somebody here that is not very awakened with the hermit reversed. They need to go within and come up with another plan. They need to see things clearly, but they have been refusing to see things clearly. They've been refusing to wake up. They've been refusing to see. They may have been masking their feelings with addictions. You know, I'm not, I'm just going to choose to bury this with addictions. You know, I'm not happy. This is not good. I don't like it. I want abundance. I'm wishing and praying for abundance, but I'm making poor choices and choosing other options because of the abundance it, it brings me, you know. But there's another opportunity here. There is self-deception here. With the moon card and the magician card, upright or reverse, there is self-deception here. There's lack of awareness. You know, maybe you just weren't aware of, of the actions that you were taking, how they were impacting you. Anyhow, I do believe that you have been in a situation where it's almost, it feels like it's a loveless situation. But choosing not to see it. Choosing not to, you know. Um, anyway, Cancer, I feel like this is a week where you gain some sort of clarity and you become clear of the choice that you need to make. I feel like it's time for you to go down this new path. Stop communicating. Stop collaborating. Uh, stop focusing on the, on the one that hurt you. And take action. Stop staying put. Stop staying put. Take your power back. You have an opportunity here. So I feel like this is a week where you may decide, and I hope that's the case, because this is becoming clear of a choice. You may decide that you want peace, that you want serenity, that you want something beautiful, you know? Anyway, you're dealing with, maybe you're lying to yourself. This is a liar. I mean, and so isn't the moon, okay? So there's a liar here. There's, and you could be lying to yourself. Anyhow, I do believe that, um, I don't know, we could also have somebody here that is doing something against the law with the magician reverse. This is a lawbreaker that is discontent, that is unhappy, that is uh, not very awakened, not very spiritual, that may be struggling financially, that may be doing something against the law, and it gets seen very, very clearly. They get caught. So if somebody's thinking about breaking the law, I suggest you don't do it. <laughs> Just saying. Um, could be a family member that's doing that, not you. You know, maybe maybe you see it very clearly. You need to be careful this week. Okay, you do need to be careful with the magician reversed. I do believe that there's some negative energy around. And uh, there is something that somebody is, is hiding that is gonna is gonna be uh, made clear this week. Everybody's gonna see it. Good luck.